Hi, in this video, we will learn how to create this creative custom animation that shows the concept of three stages of growth. On a click, we show the first stage of growth like this. You can see that this is the nascent stage. Then after providing my explanation about the first stage, I click again and we show the growth to the second stage. We provide our explanation and then on a click, we have the nurturing happening for the final stage, which is stage three. It's a beautiful slide to show your company's various stages of growth, various stages of product development, or in any place where you want to show the different stages of growth. The best part about this animation is you can always customize the number of growth stages you want to represent. So let us learn how to create this interesting looking animation from scratch. The first thing I did was to draw this pot. It's a very simple thing to do. All you need to do is to pick up the rounded rectangle and this forms the rim of our pot. Then we can pick up the rectangle tool and draw the neck portion of the pot. Then we can always use the trapezoid tool which is available in basic shapes. Pick up the tool and draw the bottom portion. You can always go to rotate and say flip vertical and you can adjust the width of the pot like so. Once it is done, I can send the neck portion behind and then have this colored in this orange color. Go to shape fill and I can have the gradient color like this and have this in a darker orange color and then I can have the same orange color like so. Go to shape fill and then have uh, this kind of uh, gradient and then select everything. Go to shape outline, no outline, press ctrl G and now we have the pot in hand. Let me resize this and place it to one side and then let us have the platform in place. For that, once again, I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool and draw a horizontal bar like so. You can choose any fill color. I'm going to choose this dark teal color and I'm going to place this pot right on top of the earlier shape. Now the next step is to draw the plant. Let us go to auto shapes gallery from basic shapes. Let me pick up this triangle and then draw a straight triangle that looks like so and this forms the main stem. Now to create the leaves you just select this press ctrl D and then you can resize it so we have everything reduced to this size and then we can always create the leaves by going to auto shapes gallery picking up the oval tool draw an oval like this hold the control button and you create a copy of this so we have two of these oval shapes I can always go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape intersect and this is our leaf. I can have this in darker green color and I can have this in lighter green color and have no outline and then I can place this in such a way and then send this to back and I can even extend this a little bit so this looks like a proper leaf. I can select both of them and press ctrl G. I can move this and I can have this as the leaf. Now let us have this in the dark green color like the earlier one. Go to shape outline and say no outline. And you keep repeating this process by adjusting the size of these leaves. For example, the ones above have a much smaller size. I can hold the shift button down and reduce the size of the leaf like this. Now if I go to the original slide, I can always copy this and I can show you what I had done here. This is how I created the plant with various leaves. Now to save some time, I'm going to use the exact same plant that I used earlier. Let me delete this. Now I'm going to place this plant in such a way that it is hidden from the site and it will come out only when I ask it to come down with motion path animation. Now I can always send this to back and it will be hidden from the site when I go to slideshow and only when I apply custom animation, it will come out in stages. Now what about the water can? This water can is actually picked up from pixabay.com. I searched for water can and I found this image. So I picked up this image which is available totally for free. Now to save some time, I'm going to use the earlier image that I used. Let me place it over here. Now to draw the water droplets, I used the line tool. When I go to lines here, I can see this option called curve. So I can draw the curved line like so. And this will be the water dropping from the can. I can select this and choose the color for my outline. In this case, I'm going to choose this black color. 
go to shape outline increase the weight to around say four and a half points then go to shape outline go to the dashes and choose this option here so this represents the droplets if you want them to be in circle you just need to right click go to format shape go to the lines option here and you can see we have cap type instead of flat use round and the meter also can be round you can see now that this is in circles so that is how we created this once we have one available we can make two more copies and that completes our water stream once again to save time i'm going to copy this and paste it over here so we have everything in place now the magic of this slide is in the kind of creative custom animation we used so let us select the water can first go to animations let me click on the animation pane so you can follow what i'm going to do i want to tilt this to 30 degrees so that water comes out of it so let us select this go to animations go to spin and then let us customize the spin let us go to the animation event click on effect options and have this spin and spin only to 30 degrees so we have 30 degrees you need to hit enter so that value is actually accepted by powerpoint and then you say okay so this is how the can tilts so the water comes out of it now if you want to have this come faster you can reduce the duration to 0.75 seconds now once this is tilted this needs to come out so this is going to be represented with a simple wipe animation from left now this is water pouring into the pot so let me have this over here i can move this ever so slightly like this and then when i go to slideshow you can see that this is how the can tilts and then water pours so i need to adjust the position of this water can now when we play with the placement of this water can and the water we have this animation happening we have water coming out of this can excellent now right after watering which represents nurturing of your business we need to have a bit of growth shown in the plant so let us select this plant and then go to motion path animation by using this lines option and then the default direction is down so we need to have this coming up and you can see that it seems to be going quite a lot we don't really require that much of a growth shown in stage one so let me click on the end and then hold the shift button down and adjust in such a way that only the first three leaves are shown so this happens after previous when i go to slideshow you can see that the first stage of growth is like this we have the germination happening now you can always add the text that represents stage one here i had done that and i have used a simple wipe animation so let me select this copy and let me have this over here and this represents stage one and this happens right after previous or with previous with a delay so that our complete animation looks like this now after this i need some time to talk about stage one and i cannot have water pouring all the time so i'm going to have this water stop and the can restored in the original direction so let me select this select this water go to add animation and i'm going to use exit wipe animation and this needs to happen from left so water is stopped we need to have this happening after previous now after the water stops we need to have the can in its original position so let me select this go to add animation add a spin animation again if you remember the last time we had the clockwise movement by 30 degrees now i am going to go to effect options and uh, reverse that by going to the option here and say 30 degrees and hit enter but this time it's going to be counter clockwise so counter clockwise 30 degrees and say okay now this goes back to its original place and this happens after previous once again i'm going to reduce this to say around 0.5 seconds and now when i go to slideshow the animation is like this water comes in then we have the plant sprouting stage one and i can talk about it till the time i want to talk about it once it is done i can always repeat the same set of animations so let me select this water can go to add animation go to spin animation and let us reduce the duration to 0.75 seconds as we did earlier 
select the animation event go to effect options and then change this to 30 degrees and hit enter and we have 30 degree clockwise rotation and we say ok and we know that we need to have this water coming in so let me once again add animation say wipe and this happens from left and this happens after previous and then we need to have this plant go to the next stage so let us select the plant go to add animation and say motion paths lines and the default direction is to down so we are going to say up and then we need to have this animation start from where it stopped earlier so you can see that this green point is where it stopped earlier so i'm going to match it with the earlier red arrow and then this red arrow needs to be slightly out like this so that represents the second stage so you can see that the first animation went from here to here the second one moved from here to here and this happens after previous and right after that we have this exiting so let us go to add animation wipe animation and this happens from left and as we did earlier we are going to restore it back so let us go to add animation spin animation and let us have this for 0.5 seconds and the earlier one happens after previous of course and this one happens after previous and this animation event we are going to go to effect options and have this 30 degrees and then this happens counterclockwise and we say okay now this is restored back and then we can have the next stage i'm just going to pick up this text box that i animated with a simple wipe animation and i'm going to place it right after this so when i go to slideshow the first set of animations happen we have the first stage shown then we have the second set of animation happening we have the growth happening to the next stage and we have the stage 2 shown we just need to keep repeating the steps to have as many stages of growth that you want to depict. I highly recommend that you watch this video a couple of times so you understand the sequence of events and try creating this on your own. This will really improve the way you think about custom animation. To help you start in the right direction, we have put together a short playlist of creative animation tutorials. All you need to do is to click on the playlist here and start watching the list of custom animation tutorials. It will definitely be worth your time and you will soon be the custom animation champion in your organization. So go ahead, click on the link here and start watching the playlist right now.